subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Title, A Beginner's Guide to Using the Random Library in Python Introduction The random module in Python provides a suite of functions for generating pseudo-random numbers. These functions are useful in various scenarios, such as simulating games, generating test data, or shuffling elements. In this tutorial, we will explore some commonly used functions from the random library and provide code examples to demonstrate their usage. Importing the random module Before using the functions from the random library, you need to import the module. You can do this using the following line of code. Generating random numbers. The random library offers several functions for generating random numbers. The most basic one is random, which returns a random float in the range 0.0, 1.0. Generating random integers. If you need a random integer within a specified range, you can use randint, a, b, which returns a random integer between a and b, inclusive. Generating random floating point numbers. To generate random floating point numbers within a specific range, you can use uniform, a, b, which returns a random float between a and b. Choosing random elements from a sequence. The choice, sec, function allows you to randomly select an element from a sequence, such as a list or a tuple. Shuffling a sequence. If you want to shuffle the elements of a sequence randomly, you can use the shuffle, sec, function. Setting the seed for reproducibility. You can set the seed using seed, seed underscore value, to generate pseudo-random numbers reproducibly. Conclusion The random library in Python provides a versatile set of tools for generating random numbers, selecting elements, and shuffling sequences. By understanding and using these functions, you can add randomness to your Python programs for various applications. Experiment with different functions to suit your specific needs and enhance the diversity and unpredictability of your code. ChatGPT